Hello, I'm calling about the job. Hello? Hello, I'm calling about the job. Oh, just hold on a minute. Thank you. Hello? Hello, I'm calling about the job. Yes. So where do you live? Where do I live? Yeah. Yeah, Manchester. It's, it's with your choice. You're thinking about the travelling distance. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to say that I, I, I do like meat. Pardon? I do like meat. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and do I get a lot of free samples? Pardon? Do I get a lot of free samples? Are you a f***ing idiot? Pardon? Are you a f***ing idiot? An idiot? You sound like you're that f***. Sorry? <laughs> Hello, Jess Barbers. Yes, you're looking for a barber? Well, I'm not. The boss is not in at the moment. Is he still available, then? As far as I know, yes. Yeah, well, what sort of things will I be doing, then? I don't know. Well, can you tell me anything about it? Well, the shop is in Meads. Yes. In Eastbourne. It's all modern air cutting. Eastbourne? Eastbourne, yeah. Is it near the seaside, then? Well, it's great. What, the shop itself? Yes. Yeah, it's about a mile away from the sea. Fantastic. So I'm going to sunbathing, then. Oh, that's good, yeah. That's <laughs> great. So, um, how soon do you want me, then? Listen, I'm not the boss. You better come and see him or phone later. Right, then. You weren't in Dad's army, were you? No, why? Oh, I just wondered. So, uh... Well, you taking the p Pardon? Are you taking the p I certainly am not, madam. So, uh... To you, mate. What? Hello? Hello? Yeah, tipper driver's job. Tipper driver's job? Yeah. I've seen the advert in the paper. Yeah. So is it still available? Just bear with me one minute. Thank you very much. Hello? Yeah, the tipper driver's job. That's right. Yeah, is it still available? It is. Right. So uh, what th sort of things will I be doing then? Driving a wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's a live-in position then, is it? It's a what, sorry? It's a live-in position, is it? Because I'm looking for accommodation as well, you see. You are? Yeah. What, you want to sleep in the wagon? Yes, if that's possible. Mm -hmm. When can you start them? Well, almost immediately. Can I take your name and number? Yeah, I won't be working late at night, will I? You'll be working, uh... No, it won't be too late. No, it'll be till about half five. All right, because I don't like to work till too late. No, no. All right, because I've had a few jobs where it's caused a few problems, you see, but I can't see it causing problems with this job. No. Because I've only got one leg, you see. <laughs> Sorry? You've only got one leg. <laughs> Hello? Sorry? Is that Steve Peng? <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> Mr. Pitt? Mr. Pitt? Yeah, Stu. First name's Stu. Stu Pitt? Yeah. <laughs> I think you've sussed me out, really, haven't you? I have. I did from the start, to be honest. And your name would be? Paul Ogara. How are you doing, Paul? Not so bad, thank you. So you are looking for a wagon driver, then? I am, really, yeah. But one, one with two legs. <laughs> well, listen, if you get a bit stuck, you know where I am. OK. Thanks, Paul. See you now. Thank you for watching this retro prank call video. We hope that it brought back some nostalgic memories and gave you a good laugh. Be sure to stay tuned for more classic and entertaining content in the future.